What's up, fellas? So today we're here to talk about why you have to pursue low interest women. And I want to make this video because I made the video telling you guys that I don't pursue low interest women no more. But I, I had to come back with a follow up because I read the fucking comments and all of a sudden every guy thinks he's a fucking high value male that can do what the fuck I can do. Well, here's the thing, guys. What if Drake made a video saying, I like for women to approach me? All right, I don't I don't approach women no more. Well, congratulations. That's good for Drake. He can fucking do that. I can't fucking do that. All right? He has the status and the um the fame and the money to where he can demand that he only women approach him. I can't fucking do that cuz I don't have his fucking status, guys. So, we're not all created equal. All right? So what one person might can do don't mean that you can fucking do that. All right? So I've made myself a high value male so I can afford to sit around and say, you know what? I don't want to pursue women with low interest. I you know, I I tell you guys to wait on choosing signals and shit like that. And every guy, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait on choosing signals. No, you can't. I've made myself a high value male. Therefore, I can afford to do that because I have a steady rotation as is. All right, guys. So that's why I went on choosing signals because I go out with a non hungry um, attitude. For all you guys that are damn near incels, sitting around waiting on choosing signals ain't going to happen. And then you come in the comment section, LMS. Uh, do another edition of Choosing Signals Because I think I'm missing them You ain't missing shit You ain't getting them Because you haven't made yourself the high value male yet I, I've i put myself in a position To where I can wait on Choosing Signals You ain't missing shit I don't gotta do another Choosing Signal video When a woman choosing you Your ass know it You ain't getting it Alright so that's why you don't see no choosing signals. I think I'm missing these choosing signals, hell miss. Can you tell me what they look like? Motherfucker, you ain't getting them. When they make it obvious. So this is the thing, guys. I don't want you guys to get all this hoorah where y'all guys think like, I'm going to do what hell miss do. He said he don't pursue no low interest women. I ain't either. Well, motherfucker, you won't be getting no ass. All right? I can do that. Some of the guys who've been following me a while can do that. That don't mean that you can do that. I, I haven't always in my life been able to just fuck women with high interest. All right? I had to pursue women with low interest. And when I say low interest, guys, I'm not talking about women who sees you as a two or three. I'm talking about women who don't do fucking backflips when they see your ass. All right? I'm talking about women who, you know, like a girl I was just dating a couple weeks ago, whenever I would date her, she will always ask me at the end of the day, so when I'm going to see you again, that's what I'm talking about, guys. That's high interest, all right? She she didn't even wait till she get home. She wanted to know right then she put my ass on the spot. So when I'm going to see you again, all right, that's high interest, all right? And I could demand, I put myself in a position where I could demand women to have that type of high interest. Why? Because I got a rock solid three-girl rotation, rock solid. I'm talking about they good girls. They do all the pursuing. They got their own money. I'm a high value male. I'm on my fucking purpose. So I put myself in a position to where I say to myself, okay, and right now I don't even know if I can handle more than a three girl rotation because my purpose takes up so much of my time. So with me being like that, if I got a three girl rotation and my purpose takes up a shitload of my time, all right, I'm, I'm answering emails, I'm doing Skype sessions, I have a security company, I'm making videos, I got all this shit going on. I'm in a position to say, you know what? I don't even know if I want a four girl rotation because it's going to fuck my money up. All right? Because instead of me pursuing my purpose, it's going to fuck my money up because now I'm, I'm, I'm on ass instead of uh, building my business. So I have the mindset of, you know, I don't even know if I want a, a four girl rotation. And with that mindset, I'm like, you know, unless a bitch got crazy high interest and I find her very attractive, I ain't fucking with it. But you incel motherfuckers don't need to have that mindset. All right, so guys, what the basis of me saying this video is, I, I want you guys to make yourself true high-value males. Get on your purpose. Get in the gym. That way you can be like me. But you might not be. If you're somebody who just found my channel two weeks ago, it's a good chance your ass going to have to pursue low interest women. I'm just telling you that shit now. Get over it. It is what it is. I, I had to do the shit one time too. I put myself in a position. And y'all guys know why I'm working so hard now? 
because I'm putting myself in a position to where when I hit 40 or 41, that I can chill a little bit. But I'm gonna put myself in that position to where I can do that. I'm putting myself in a position to where maybe I'll be playing golf. You know, like how y'all see Michael Jordan and shit playing golf and shit, you know, cause he got so much leisure time, but he had to bust his ass to put himself in that position. All right, so you have to put yourself in a position to where you can only date high interest women. All right, it's some guys who are in a position where they say, you know what, I only want to date, you know, uh, Victoria's Secret models. Leonardo DiCaprio, I think he only dates Victoria's Secret models. All right, guys, but he put himself in a position. We can't be that fucking choosy. You know, I don't never get no ass if I sit around and say, well, if she ain't a Victoria's Secret model, then I ain't going to fuck with her. Well, I won't get no ass. All right, guys? So it, you have to put yourself in situations. You can't just look at what Leonardo DiCaprio do and say, well, he only fuck with a uh, Victoria's Secret model. That's what I want to do. You can't do that. All right, guys? So that's the thing with that. A lot of these celebrities y'all see with these Instagram models, man, they be hitting them dudes up. Them dudes be having to pick a choice. You can't do what they do. All right, guys, you got to do the initiating. My ass ain't getting DM'd on Instagram by fine-ass Instagram models. I can't do that. All right? So that's the thing with that, guys. Everybody's not creative. You can't do what everybody else do. All right? So some of you guys are still going to have to pursue low-interest women. Some of you guys might have to still do cold approaches. All right? But I want you guys... The thing is, it's not where you start. It's where you end. All right? I want you guys to be putting yourself in a position. Hit the gym. Work on your fashion. Make yourself to when you go out to a spot, you get choosing signals. Some of you guys think you're just entitled to choosing signals just because you're a fucking man and you got balls between your legs. And it don't work that way. All right? For all you guys that's thinking you're missing choosing signals, you ain't missing no fucking choosing signals. You ain't getting them. But get in the gym. Work on your fashion. Once you get a couple of girls in your rotation, that's going to take that thirsty need, thirsty look off of you so where you don't be in the club just like... Like a, like a damn hungry damn tiger looking at every goddamn thing. And then the choosing signals come. That's where the choosing signals come. Uh, you don't just get choosing signals just because you show up. Some of you guys think you're entitled to fucking choosing signals. All right? So that's the thing with that, guys. All right? And so I had another guy who was dating this dime. And he did everything right. All right? He did everything right. And she basically, you know, pulled back or whatever case may be. He was in a masculine frame. He didn't over pursue when she pulled back. He knew that he'd been following me for a while, so he knew what everything to do. And so, and she lost interest or whatever. Well, here's the thing, guys. I know y'all love when I say here's the thing. Y'all know it's finna get deep then. When I, here's the thing. You're like, uh oh, here it come. So here's the thing, guys. When you dating dimes, they have choices off the wazoo. All right? And guys, y'all guys won't understand this until you make yourself high value males. I, I'm quite sure that some women I go on a date with or whatever, I'm quite sure they wonder, well, what happened to him? He ain't never called me back. Bitch, I'm a high value male. Yeah, man, I got my choice. So you on a date being difficult, bitch, I got choices. Yeah, you on a date doing all this, that, all this. No, 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 baby. I got choices. You better say that for them little beta males who worship the ground you walk on. Because old AMS, he don't do that, baby. That's what I, that's, that's how I go, guys. All right? So, and I'm quite sure they be wondering, well, what, what, what I do wrong? You ain't doing that wrong, baby. I got choices. I got choices, baby. All right? I got like six revenue uh, screens of revenue right now. I got choices. So that's what happened. So, guys, when you date... Dime pieces, they got a lot of choices. So even if you're doing things right, you still run the chance of losing them. Even me. Hell, y'all y'all even see celebrities crying over dime pieces. Motherfuckers got multi-million dollars and shit, fame and everything. And they look at fucking Bow Wow be, uh, begging his uh, ex-girlfriend back. And she all on Instagram with different guys and shit already. She got choices because she's bad. All right? So the thing with that, guys, is, is when y'all guys date these dimes, they just, you know, they just run off sometimes. They got choice. Most dimes don't even settle down to after they 30. They can't make up their fucking mind. They got too many goddamn choices. They get hit on a hundred times a day. They get DM. Shit, they bound to run into a guy they think a little bit cuter than you eventually or got a little bit better game than you eventually. But guess what? They'll probably end up doing him the same way in a month or so. They can't make up their fucking mind, guys. This is how it works. So when y'all guys date these dimes, don't expect too much from them. 
Cause that's just how they is. That's how they got too many fucking choices. All right, guys. So I have girls begging me for a relationship now. They can't get it. I know they thinking to them, why I can't get a relationship? I got too many choices. I don't know. I can't make up my mind. And when you have that mindset. When you had that mindset, I'm always thinking like, man, it's always somebody better. That's how the dime pieces think, guys. So you're going to lose them from time to time. It is what it is. You can hold a masculine frame in your fucking sleep. You can hold a masculine frame on the toilet. You can not over pursue. You can do every fucking thing right. And these bitches still got a whole bunch of choices. And they still can run off. So expect that from dimes. Don't take too much from them. Y'all guys know not to be falling in love with them, but that's the way. And you know what? I get this email a lot. I did everything right. I had to mess the frame. You know, I didn't over pursue. What, what happened? I'm on my purpose. What happened is choices happen. All right? That's what it is, guys. So that's like you got to have a high value mindset and expect that from women, especially the dime pieces. All right, guys. But getting back to the first point, guys. Some of you guys are going to have to pursue low interest women, all right? Put yourself in a position where you can be picky like that. You can be. One day you say, you know what? I strive to be AMS in a year from now to where I can just fucking, I only want to fuck with high interest women. Put yourself in that position. Put yourself in a position where you can go to the club and wait on choosing signals, all right? To where you can say, you know what? I got three girls I'm fucking. My body, I lost 30 pounds. My fashion on point. You know, I ain't approaching shit. Put yourself in a position, all right? If you don't, if you ain't made yourself a high value male or made yourself attractive, and you sitting there looking like you need to have her on a fucking D cup, you ain't gonna get no choosing. Say you lost your goddamn mind. Ain't nobody sending those signals out to no guy who look like he need to have her on a fucking D cup, all right? So make your put yourself in a position to where you are more attractive to where women will send you choosing signals. And the same thing goes for. Uh, only want to date high interest women, guys. All right, and some of the guys who've been following me a long time, they own their purpose, they don't got on their fashion, and they can do that. But all you guys can't do that. All right, so for all you guys get all gung ho and oh, that AMS say only high interest women. All right, all right, and, 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 and three and three months from now, when you ain't had no ass, don't come blaming me. All right, guys. All right, like the video, comment down below, and, and, and before I end this thing, guys, I want you guys to know it's nothing wrong. With building up women interest <laughs> It ain't no crime I just can be picky like that We have more attributes when, If you got a woman right now And she's low interest That means that just physically You don't knock off a fucking Who gives a fuck It's not a fucking big deal Put that game on her ass Put that high value male game on her ass And raise her fucking interest Not a fucking big deal It don't make you less of a man Because you have to raise a woman's interest Because she ain't fucking doing cartwheels When she see your ass That don't make you fucking less of a man Alright That's a, they, don't, they don't mean shit It just means that you're not in a position yet To where you can be ass picky That's all Alright If you're a guy and you got a million dollars in the fucking bank And your house is paid for And you lost your job when you go out looking for work, you ain't got to jump on the first thing that come your way. You got a million dollars in bank, my house paid off. I can afford to be picky. I ain't desperate for a job. But if you ain't, if you ain't got those options and you and you like my rent got to be due next week, well, damn, you might have to do the car wash till something else come better. All right, you might may have to make the car wash job work to pay the bills until you can find another job. You might can't be as picky. It don't make you less of a man. It just means that you ain't got the choices and the options that a person who had a better savings than you. All right, guys, so I wanted to clear that up. Ain't nothing wrong with raising women's interest. All right? As we as men, that's why I tell you guys over and over again, that's why we have it better. Only thing a woman got is her looks. All right? Her looks. Some, and, 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 and the less attractive women try to use other attributes, but as soon as those guys raise their value, they dump their ass and go get a hotter woman. So the women who are not that attractive, yeah, they can get a guy who's not got a lot going on for himself. But the first time that guy gets some money, what he do? When y'all guys see these guys join the NBA and they make some money with it, they start dumping them ugly ass high school girlfriends. All right, guys. All right, like the video. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. Holler back.